What is up guys, the Vipers Project here, bringing you a quick video, not really quick, uh, seven and a half minutes, bringing you a video today on my, my uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay, um, sort of my tips, uh, and tricks really, of multiplayer, um, based around the map cargo, usually I just picked up a nice double kill there off, uh, based on the map cargo um which is probably one of my favorite maps if not my favorite and what you want to do is my main tip is do what you want like don't listen to what people tell you to do like so say if your mate says oh yeah well, this is what i do then don't do that do you know what i mean like, if he says to you, oh, well, what I do is I rush half of the map and then I use the other half of the camp. Don't go, I'll oh, try it out because it won't work. You have to you have to use your own, your own, uh, yeah, you have to use your own strategy. I did try using my friend's strategy. Yeah, didn't work. And I came up with this there just now and it worked fine. Um, so what you want to do is basically you want to pick up, uh, you want to basically pick your half of the map, the map you spawn in, and uh, you basically just want to sort of draw a board line, like an imaginary board line across that half of the map. So if you stay in that half of the map, occasionally you can run across, like, across to the other side of the map. But what I do is I normally stay in the half of the map that I spawn in now, and I stay out of the main area of battle. Like in cargo, you have the middle. Um, you will see me try and get into the middle to see if I can pick off a few people, but it failed miserably. Sorry about that, guys. I have to uh, unplug something. Anyway, um, as I was saying, like, you will see me try and go into the middle of the map later on in the video. And it backfires miserably. So what you want to do is, like, if you know where the main center of uh, action is, like the main point of action is, you want to sort of work your way around that, if you know what I mean, just around the outskirts of the map, really. Um, like, this is really helpful. Uh, but you have to be quick. Um... You have to be aware of your surroundings and your whereabouts on the map. If you if you don't know where you are, then you really have no hope, really. Uh, like this is where I cross over to the other side of the map. Occasionally, if if the spawn flips, then cross over. Uh, obviously, but um, if you got if you're not if you find you're not getting any kills on the other side of the map, then do not run straight for the middle. Go take the long way. I guarantee you will get at least three kills. You run if you go around the long way. That's normally where people go because they try and flank you. If you're the, if you're the faster one on the trigger, you will get to them first. As a guarantee. Um. Anyway, guys, yeah, you wanna run around basically and just keep on one side of the map. That's all I do. But if I find that I'm not getting any kills on that side of the map, then I'll switch to the other side, and then I'll come back like two or so minutes later once I've racked up a few kills on there. So people don't really know, but, and this, I must quickly hint, this technique, this is a perfect example of knowing your surroundings. I've seen the shot charge, I know there's a guy there, go and take him out. Um, I must also hint that this technique normally only works if you have a suppressor on, uh, because if you don't have a suppressor on, it, I think it would probably work, it would work without a suppressor on, but... With the suppressor, I reckon it's probably most effective to strategy, due to the fact that when you fire, you don't get seen on the map, so it's kind of helpful. Like, I end this game, I I have an M27 here with a quick draw and a suppressor on, and I end this game, I think, on a 38 to 5, 35 to, no, that's it, 35 to 8 KD, which is really good, uh, it's basically a flawless, really. I call them flawless. Uh, pick up a nice kill here. Now, most of my deaths on this are actually got, uh, from behind. I do encounter a few people, which is uh, which did do beat me to it first. 
it's a perfect example of you going for the middle, um, which you shouldn't really do. I do hint that, but if you're going to do it, make sure no one's around there. But really, really try and stick to the outskirts of the map, guys. That's why. Um, but really, really try your hardest to skip, skip to the outskirts of the map. Uh, unless, really, unless you're on a high KD and uh, say there's something coming in, like a, a lightning strike or something, then get inside. But other than that, stick to the outside of the map. Um, this strategy really helped me. It really helped a few of my other friends. Uh, my friend Clank19, um, it's helped him out. It helped. It also helped my friend FLS Creation. Um, I have I have told some others about it yet. They haven't tried out, but it helped two of my friends out. Um, the guy Creation went up. You uh got so much better. I saw him playing without this, and he would have fifteen to. 11 KDs per game but other than that there would be stupid things he would just absolutely mask people and when I told him about this he just owned even more uh, he just got better and he got better and he got better and he got better and he has his own strategy now but this, um, he told me that if he this strategy really did help him out and uh it really you can see it in his ranks, his KD went up tempo he did. Absolutely minced everybody he did. Um picked up a sniper there, then got sniped by the same guy. Most of my deaths are from that same guy. Uh here as well. Um coming towards the end of the video now lads. So um yeah, I hope this tip helped you out. I hope these uh tips helped you out. Um I have been the Vipers Project. Comment, rate and subscribe and like and uh, subscribe for more guys, and uh, I will speak to you in my next video. Peace out.